Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is all about the Ford Transit Smith Edison electric van. In this episode we're going to more detail about the batteries they use, show you the battery boxes that are already opened up and go into it a bit further. This is the back battery box that had six in it. It's like a clamshell made of fiberglass that's the top and that was the bottom and it also has this isolator switch on all of them in case of emergency so the valence u charge xp series u27 or 138 amp hours each which gave it 3864 amp hours complete pack of the 28 together the batteries were in series and the communications cables were daisy chained together and then they were plugged into this main BMS there's two of these, a low voltage and a high voltage one even though they've all got their own small BMS inside the batteries themselves and the last battery communication cable just had a little dongle on it to terminate it so to read the BMS's and batteries you need to get yourself one of these USB to RS485 connectors off Amazon when you're wiring it up the wiring diagram I found that the A positive and the B minus need to be the other way around as it didn't work when I had it wired up as it said with its diagram this cable came in the battery boxes with the communication plug on already so I've spliced into one of them to get the USB connector on when you go online download the Valence software diagnostic software you need to make sure your computer is running in .NET type 2 version the older version as it won't run this software as it's an old version and then when you have it downloaded you need to run it in administrator and this is it so if you have a load of batteries series daisy chain together what you want to do is go to battery system info and scan and it will find the modules that you've got daisy chained together so then we're plugged into number two and you need to be in the right comms port we're in comms three and then start read and on the battery info about this one battery it will show you everything it's all green and then if you go to event log the main thing is the cycle discharge and this is at 40 and number one had 44 as the charge discharge cycle that was the highest they were either at the start or the back of the pack and then you can pick another number That you've got these chained together and read that battery as well and this is slightly out to charge thank you so much for watching guys next episode we'll take the grill off and have a close look what's inside there in the engine bay thank you 